Okay, so um, this is going to be the stoichiometry review video. This is kind of the foundation of, of Unit 8. So previously in other units we've talked about, you know, uh, the five major types of reactions, how to predict the products of those types of reactions, how to balance equations, all that stuff. Um, what's going to be different now is we're actually going to look at uh, things from a quantitative sense. We're going to look at amounts rather than just just reactions. So, uh, you know, we learned before hydrogen and oxygen will react to form water. And we learned before that this is going to be a synthesis reaction. These two things go together to make one product. Okay, and we've also learned how to balance it like that. So, what we're going to do now is learn how to actually do things quantitatively, like I just said. So, what if we had what if we had five moles of hydrogen? How much water are we going to make? Okay, what if we had you know six moles of oxygen? How much water can we make? How much hydrogen do you need to react with a certain amount of oxygen to make your product? This is what you use stoichiometry to find out. So, the way it works is we can look at our equation here. All right, this equation up here. This is going to be this is going to be our guide for stoichiometry. What this equation says is it's a balanced equation. Okay. Two moles of hydrogen will react with one mole of oxygen, the one is implied there, to form two moles of water. Okay? Those these coefficients here, that tells you how many moles of that chemical is needed for the reaction. So again, two moles of hydrogen, one mole of oxygen will react, and they will form two moles of water. Okay? So, we use, let me type here, keep it neater, we use these, these coefficients on the chemical, on the chemical equation, coefficient in a chemical equation is used to calculate something called the mole ratio. All right, and, and it's really pretty simple. Basically, the mole ratio for hydrogen and oxygen is two to one, because this, this one is applied. Two moles of hydrogen for every one mole of oxygen in this reaction. The ratio for hydrogen and water, two to two, which we could also say is one to one. Okay, oxygen and water, one to two, that's our ratio. Okay, so, The, way that the reason this is useful is the mole ratio can be used as a conversion factor in dimensional analysis. Okay, so let's, let's do a little practice problem here. Let's go back to the, the water example we just had. Okay, so Two moles of hydrogen are going to react with one mole of oxygen to make two moles of water. Well, what if we have five moles of hydrogen? Okay. How much water can we make? Okay. Here's the way you're going to do it. It's just a simple dimensional analysis. We have hydrogen to start with. We're trying to figure out how much of our product we can form. So, we're going to set up a dimensional analysis, and like I said before, our conversion factor is going to be the mole ratio. Okay? So right here, this conversion factor is going to be the mole ratio between what we have, hydrogen, and what we're trying to find out, water. Okay? So our mole ratio here is going to be 2 to 2. So we're going to put 2 moles hydrogen on the bottom. So then we can cancel it out. And two moles of water is on the top because that is what we're trying to find out. Okay. 
Okay. And now we just calculate. Now, like I said before, a 2 to 2 ratio is the same thing as a 1 to 1. And if you notice, when we do the math, we just multiply by 2 and then divide by 2 and get the same number. So, if we have 5 moles of hydrogen and it does the reaction, we will end up with 5 moles of water. Okay? And that makes sense, right? If you look back at your, at your equation, okay, 2 moles of hydrogen for every 2 moles of water. That means you get the same amount of water as you put in hydrogen, if we're talking about moles. Okay? So now I could go further and ask, okay, if I had 5 moles of hydrogen, how much oxygen would I need to complete this reaction? All right? Works the same way. I'm starting with an amount of hydrogen, and I'm going to use the mole ratio as a conversion factor to find out how much oxygen I need. Okay? So our mole ratio here is going to be 2 to 1. 2 moles of hydrogen for every 1 mole of oxygen. Okay? So 2 moles of hydrogen is going to go down here for every 1 mole of oxygen. Okay? So if we do the math, we get 2.5 moles of oxygen for this reaction. Okay, so that's, that's basically it in a nutshell right there. Um, you use the mole ratio as a conversion factor to convert from one chemical to another in a chemical reaction. Um, we're going to go ahead and do a couple practice problems. Um, I'm going to write the problem and then you, need to, you should pause the video, try the problem, and then unpause it and look at the solution. Alright, so for this one let's say I'm going to type because my handwriting is awful. Okay, if you have 22 moles of hydrogen gas, how much water can be produced? Okay, and we're going to use the same equation here. I'm going to write the, the skeleton equation here, so you need to balance it first. Always, always, always balance the equation before you can do anything with it. The only reason you shouldn't balance it, balance it is if I specifically ask you for the skeleton equation. All right, give it a shot, and then I will go over the solution. Tell you what, how much water can be produced, and also tell me how much oxygen is needed. So, two questions. Okay, so. Let's do this just like we did before. We're going to start out with 20, 22 moles of hydrogen. Okay, let me balance my equation first. All right, and we want to know how much water can be produced. That's our question. So basically, we're going to convert from hydrogen to water using this mole ratio, 2 to 2. So, if we have 22 moles of hydrogen, and there are 2 moles of hydrogen for every 2 moles of water in this reaction, okay, then we're going to get 22 moles of water. And as you get better at this, you'll just be able to see 2 to 2 ratio here, you don't even need to do the math. You're just going to know 22 moles of hydrogen is going to give you 22 moles of water. All right, so second part. 22 moles of hydrogen, All right? Two moles of hydrogen for every one mole of oxygen. Okay, so that means you're going to need 11 moles of oxygen for this reaction, which makes sense because our reaction tells us we need twice as much hydrogen as we do oxygen, and 22 is twice 11, so that makes sense. All right, let's try one more example like that and then we're going to move on. Okay, um, let's try this reaction here. 
magnesium is going to burn in oxygen to form magnesium oxide. I want you to balance the equation and tell me how much, um, let's see, given 5.3, 5.30 moles of magnesium, how much MgO is produced. And also, how much oxygen is needed for this reaction. All right, give it a shot. Uh, pause the video and unpause it when you're ready for the solution. Okay, so let's balance it real quick. All right, so given 5.30 moles of magnesium, we want to know how much MgO is produced. So we're converting from here to here. Again, 2 to 2 mole ratio. Okay, I can do the math, but I really don't need to. 5.3 moles of magnesium is going to be 5.30 moles of magnesium oxide. Same mole ratio means the same number of moles of each chemical in the reaction. So that was easy. All right, how much oxygen is needed? So if we've got 5.30 moles of magnesium, okay, and there are two moles of magnesium for every one mole of oxygen, all right, divide by two, and Okay, and sorry about that. You get 2.65 moles of oxygen. Okay, and again, you can look at your answer. Does that make sense? Well, if we have 5.3 moles of magnesium up here, okay, and looking at our mole ratios, we need twice as much magnesium as oxygen. Well, we got it. That's that's half. So that's that's perfect. Okay. Um, that's it for that. Um, we're going to move on a little bit.